Yo, what's up? It is the Pano TV here, and I'm gonna try my best to make you guys a filter instructional video how to really customize your filter. Get really, really good. So, the first thing I do is I'll type in item filter POE ladder, right? And at the beginning of the leagues, when I don't have enough time to make a uh, a filter. I'll come here and I'll follow follow one. So I'll probably follow the never sinks one. Right? What this does when you follow it, it comes into the game. The blue text. If you save a file, it'll be like this. The problem is when you save a file, since like for example they took off reflexes mod, it doesn't exist anymore. The game is broken. That doesn't. So if you use one that's updated most likely will work. So first thing I do is follow a filter. Then I take the name NeverSync3 strict filter, the filter blade. And I'll go like string and I'll like crimson for example. So crimson preset. What it looks like. If you don't like the crimson preset, you can go to a different one. So now, what does this say? Never sync softcore, never sync hardcore, never sync stable. If you are playing in standard, you most likely want to keep your sync stable. However, if you're playing league and items become more expensive due to a video, or more uh, or cheaper they will automatically update if you put this one and you locally update it like this it says every four hours filter blade will do an economy check you look over here and you go to like unique item we'll say well silk gloves are 153c so i think it should be a white item Small cluster or imperial bows are 22C and 1C. So it's going to be an orange item. And, and if that price changes, if Wind Ripper goes up to 1X, it's going to be a white item. That is all done with never sync softcore gear based, gearing based on current softcore economy. It does an update every four hours. All right. So now that I have, I'm in this example i'm going to be creating a filter for standard so i'm going to keep this on so i'm in never sync restrict and i've created it for standard and now what i see in this map i'm gonna is it's already coded in here because i'm following the same filter um basically as the one that i'm using now if i want to do any changes i can change it so first thing i'm going to do is put in a map The Nemesis Beyond map. I'm gonna change one thing. We're gonna to start to do the map. So generally when you want to start to customize your filter, it's when you're doing end game like maps, you're not happy with a default filter and you want to make a filter so that you can go fast. That's the goal of what we're going to do. We're going to try to turn this filter to never sync uh, strict into a filter that makes sense for us. Oh my god, Depano, I fucking love you. Alright. So, already, this filter is ridiculous. So, first thing we want to do to make this filter work. I'm going to hide the loot for right now. We see a bunch of corrupted items. Rare corrupted ice all over. The I 
keep attacking, I'm probably gonna cry, so gotta stop. Okay. So if you one secret, if you push Z to hide items, you can hold Alt in this game, and will happen. Crash. Alright, so first thing you can do is you can pick up an item. Sulfur flask. You can do control C on it. You can go to if you have no idea how the filter works, you can go to simulate tab, scroll to the bottom. Control V it in here. Find it in the cut. You click find in custom. Here. And uh, it's a boss drop unique. So usually, if you're MFing, you can get Bottle of Faith, which you cannot get in maps, and then two 1C flasks. Okay? So usually, boss drops, unfortunately, they're not anything we are concerned with in MF. So if you want to do a quick check to see if there's any of them, anything you should keep. Mouse over, you see the prices. Uh, like really nothing probably, but you can just double check. Nothing that an MF -er can drop in a map boss drops. But unfortunately we only have show. So you can X out everything if you want. Or you can go in advanced. This may take me a second to find. Okay. Then you go to settings. Always show hide disable. Click this. Now we don't want to see the bus drops. Boom. Hide them. All right. So. We're gonna take this, we're gonna save it right here. We're gonna call it test. We're gonna apply it. And we're gonna download it. We're gonna, instead of, you wanna sync it to your profile, you sync it here. I will go over that later on a different video. I'm not gonna go into that right now. You download the file. Cut it, go in the game, escape, options, we go to this folder, and we paste, paste it, test. Now we refresh, we go down to test, now we can live update our filter. So now, now you see all those uniques are gone. So, what is these Karui Mall's jewel foils? Let's pick these up now. Gonna control C over them. We're gonna go to our filter. We're gonna go to simulate. Boom. Find and customize. Hide. 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 Tier one. Do you want to see tier one bases? MFing probably not standard. Hide. 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 Okay. Again. Save it, one change at a time, download. Cut, open, close, refresh. Now, we don't see these bases. We don't see all the bases. Oh, we went back to Nemesis. Okay. So we still have some bases, so we're going to pick them up. We're going to try to get these all out as fast as possible. Simulate. Go to the bottom. Customizer, disable. Table, table, or hiding. All right. Oh.
we cut it. And at first, this is going to take a lot, a lot of times. So I'm showing you guys the, everything. If you're doing it yourself. Uh, all right. Now we have this. Now we have some more unique. Sledgehammer. Customize. Similar. Wow. Unique high level too. Find and custom. It literally says uniques are cheap and hideable uniques. You want cheap and hideable uniques if you're MFing? No, they disable. Do you want, then you look over here, 59C, our bricks is a boss only drop. You gotta combine two things to make it. Doesn't need non drop uniques. These don't even drop. They don't drop. They're not possible to drop, apparently. You have to make them with prophecies, basically, or a vendor firm. So we're gonna have to disable them. Semi expensive unique seven C one C one C. Soft spuds worth something. The soft heart and anvil is worth nothing, and you need a, a blessing, so it's literally worth nothing. Five C. Black flame is only from uh, ritual. So it's okay if we hide this. But you kind of, if you're if you're not sure, go over, it. take all of them. So what we ended up doing is we hide it, we hid all of them, and then there's a helmet base for uh, power siphon. Crown of eyes. There's a Huber circlet, so we look for it here. Probably is in this section. If we don't see it, we type in Huber circlet. So that's like a cheap, unique that we know that we want to pick up. Because we know if we uh, foul it, it will be worth a lot of money. So Huber circlet is unfortunately uh, this, because it's masked in with the Ebers. So we got to make sure we drag this up. We show it. Multi-base arcane shield, we want it. Carved one, we don't want it, so we drag it down. Fiend dagger, we want. Gavel, we don't want. Gold ring, we don't want. Standard. So the uniques, you kind of want to take some time, look through them, right? You don't want to just disable everything. We want leather boots, we want legion boots, we don't. Pow, pow. We want saints. Comics. Onyx is showing on my current filter and I don't like it at all. Um, Elf boots. Garukans barely drop and Syntrax drop all the time. Probably gonna skip that. Onyx. One I said. Wait, why is Onyx? I'm just gonna X out the ones that are being. Badge of the Brotherhood, worth something, but everything else is worth nothing. Rishasa is worth really nothing. Standard even. In standard, if you get one, it's good, but I don't want to look at that many stuff to find one personally. So I just... Boom. Boom. So now I show my headhunters. I show my maids' bloods. Blah, blah. Now, these ones. I'll take all this other stuff and I'll move it up, right? And I'll put just leather belt and heavy belt here, basically. And I'll make this, for example, background white. Down, normal sound is going to be like, go through it, figure out what the exalted one is. Sound six, we need sound six. Now I have a swing 
for my special belts, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna, we're gonna save our current state of the filter. And as you can see from the original, never think we have 15 changes so far. We're gonna download, save. X. Open. Replace. Refresh the filter now. As you can see, we don't see anything. Now we have these weird. Item. Going. Keep only doing one item. Simulate or copy. I didn't disable the untiered. That's why these ones showed up. Here, up there. Save, download, download. Sorry if this is a little bit repetitive. Gotta do. Boom, replace. Now we do this stuff. Now we're gonna look at currency. Luckily, currency is pretty. Oh. Now currency is pretty simple. Got very confusing. Back up to the top, close everything. We have currency normal. Everything here is red. That's not good. So you're gonna want to go through that. You're most likely not gonna want these to show, these to show, these to show. The very, very bottom currencies. What I'll do is I'll jack all this stuff down here. In this case will semi strict filter to go using regal orbs, scourings. Battle orbs. Don't want the alk, so we'll bring that down. I don't really guards here. Gem cutters. All this here. And for this currency, I'll I'll make it like pretty light. Blue, take it a little bit down so it's not so in your face. I'll take the red off of it. I'll make it like black, for example. Now we have, and then I'll take out any beams and any sounds associated with it so I don't kill myself listening to it. Now I know that this type of currency is going to be this color. Then I have. All right, so then this is fine. This one swings. Um, let's just say I want to make sure to pick up this type of currency. I'll make it 
gold or something. Again, might want just a sound, but I don't want an icon and I might want a beam. For this one, all this is good. Again, the colors are terrible though. You want everything to kind of be a little bit different. This. Uh, I don't want to beam on this there. All right, taking this off, taking this off, sounds off of this, that. So now we have different colors for different uh, currencies. Now we can save again one more time. Download. Download. So we did do one thing wrong. Just check what we did wrong. We did do wrong. Disabled some of the currencies at the very bottom, I think. Movie high day. I don't know. Save, download, download. All right, perfect. Can't disable that. So now we're going to keep going doing the map. See what else we see. Alright, so what do we see? We see lots and lots and lots of corrupted. So I'm gonna just show you guys how to do it again. Go simulate. This one is jeweler recipe, so we can easily turn one off. This one. All right, but that's not the only. Copy of one. And it says it's not showing, but watch what's going to save. I think you're felt, or we're going to download the file. Cut this. Paste it in here one more time. We're going to check that it works. Okay, it works. What about the Boom, table. So it's already getting pretty good. What about these rings, jewelry? Simulate how disable Okay. 
code. Save, download. Let's see where we're at. Oh, this is going to take forever. I am down to do it till I get this filter right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check this stuff, a bunch of stuff that, so this doesn't show on filter in here on the mod filtering, but it does show in the game. This goes in my filter, but doesn't show in the game. This goes in my filter. Use control, so then it says, what does it say? It's control, alt. So, find a customizer, disable this. Basically, this item, identified mod filter. This is what's making corrupted items go on your filter most of the time. So we're gonna disable all of this. On through it and know what all the mods mean. You can actually try to target from quite a Oops. Yes, like everything shows, dude. That's I don't know. On a filter, I'm gonna be turning. Now feel free to go through X out only the tier one mods that you know are good. Make rules and do it. That's if that's what you want to do. Feel free to do that, and I promise you, you probably will make money if you take some time on. Right. Then we download, download again. Now we're gonna see what does our filter look like now, bro. This is getting pretty exciting. We're getting pretty close to a decent filter. So it's totally fine if you want to pick up all these little currencies, but for me right now, they're kind of getting distracting. I have no idea what's going on. This divine orb is red. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab this divine orb. Go simulate. I really like divine orb, right? So I want them to all be white. But White, red, leveling five link, no five link, six link, boom, 
Tabula, because Tabula is a six link that always drops, but different section. We're gonna that one white. Again, some of the stuff you can balance the show, so I highly recommend turn off the sounds. Roughly the tools are showing. Hide, hide. Currency, just to can you enable this later if you want? I don't I don't pick up this too much of it. I'll hide that one. Save. Download. Let's just see if we're even close to a good filter yet. So we're getting there. So now what we have is we have stacks, divination cards. In our way, we have stacks and divination cards. In. Take some stacks. Take green okay out. Divination cards on filter blade are pretty well organized, but there's not too many um, sections. So we're gonna have to drag. But with cheap cards, we don't want to see that. We have cheap currency like cards, we don't care. Common cards, we don't care. Common currency like cards, we don't care. Five, we'll, whatever, we'll keep these three. Again, we can change the colors. Uh, oh, we have stacks. Currency stacks is really hard. Huh? Is the supplies small stacks, large stacks? Can you have to go look through all this? But just to make this go faster, anything ones are gonna hide. You're gonna want to make these the exact same colors as the general currency. And here. So then let's see how we look. We have 123 total changes so far. Download, save. If you make the colors the same, the filters are going to start feeling a lot be better. Exactly the color. All right, here we go. So we have stacks of portals. The reign of, how many reign of chess? Oh, I just held all three. All right, so I crashed. The only other thing I want to show you guys about making your own filter is after you start, so what happened there is I removed the uh, chain of chaos, so we give a card here. You remove it, hide it. Some stuff, 
can't just. I don't want to do some stuff and disable it. Show like disabled items. So unless you have, if unless you find out how to um, not show disabled apps. The one thing I really wanted to show you guys in this, and it's kind of confusing. Um, and I didn't even get to go, and I don't want to. Basically, I don't want to keep adding to this video because it's going to get more and more confusing. But you can go through each and every item that you have on the drops use it to make your filter better um but i found this section recently nemesis and beyond and what i did i find it uh, what i did is i went to uh filter blade discord and i started to ask them questions learn from they taught me so much uh I have this text that I have. So basically, I have a text. Uh, I want to show you a notepad. But text, put it all in here, and it's all the different map. All it has is it has a colon in between it. What I did is I went to map modifiers POE. That's what I did. You come here and you see ceremonial antagonist, right? I wrote down every single one of them. They did. People at filter. So I add it. Add all this. And it's saying, this is beyond. I'm saying if I have a map that has six of these mods and beyond, I want it to show this color. This will highlight eight mod and beyond. So, I didn't do the full, full connection. But, when you start going through your filter, Once you do all the stuff that you can see and simulate, then you have an advanced sort of filter structure. And like, we just changed all this, right? But look, there's more stuff. We did this in the customizer, we disabled jewels, but there's more, so we can disable even more. This is, uh, this, so, All good because disable it. But for example, if you can't find it in the customer, then you go to advanced, find it here. So now we're gonna go my filter that I've worked on forever. If anyone wants the original file of it, I can send it to you. See how much work I put. Go back into that map. Crazy. Crash this. How does it look after you take an hour, two hours custom the filter to your what advantages give you? Good day. That point ends the video probably very bad. Hope you like it. So remember this this map looked hectic on the other film. Even with 125 changes, uh, it looked hectic. I give you to the earth.
I think the transparent function is very cool because you can make items less taxing on your eyes. And like I said, if you have any other questions or if you want me to make a part two and have specific questions, I can address those questions on part two. Again, like I said, on never sync, they they stream. Anytime they do updates, they stream usually, and they also have a public Discord that they're very very nice. So you can always go there and see if you can find answers there. Uh, but being able to make my own filter has changed this game for me personally. That's why I make. cool thing about this is if you if you know these tricks you can ask someone that has a filter for their original from filter blade and then manipulate it yourself so you don't do all the work yourself look at this so nemesis beyond map again we are sustaining towers holy shit look different color than i did that i coded that bro why because filter blade is so chad that would only slow me down All right, I think I'm going to cut off the recording now, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped. That would only slow me down.